Hey YouTube. Well, I got a hold of this uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 3. And essentially when I got it, everything was working except for the top of the screen up here is non-responsive. Everything else works. You can scroll, you can move and everything. Um, everything, the keyboard mostly, as long as you turn it certain ways. But the weird part is, at the very top of the screen up here, it does nothing. And it's just, it's blank. But it's weird because it will work on some of the corners. But this one doesn't work, but I believe this one does. Yeah, see, as you can see, this one works over here, but nothing works right along the screen. See, you can sit here and you can tap it and nothing works. So I did some digging, and I came across this web page. I'll put a link. See, as you can see, I can't even scroll it. So what I do is, you can actually turn the machine, okay, and then tilt it up, okay? And then when you tilt it up, you can actually use some of the tabs. So let's, let's, let's let me select this tab, and see? Now, uh, let's see, let's go back, history. But this tab right here, as you can see, it does nothing. It literally just does nothing. So we'll turn it. And however you turn the machine, you can actually get it. No, it doesn't work that way. So let's turn it this way. And then, okay, now that we're at the bottom, okay, we're going to turn it. And then see how the tabs work. All right, so we'll go to history. And then this page is how to fix non-responsive areas on Surface Pro, okay? Now, according to this page, it tells you that as long as most of your digitizer has worked and there's no cracks or anything like that, then, as you can see, almost all the screen works, okay? Well, I, I was digging around for a couple hours trying to figure out what was wrong with this machine because I was wondering, well, is there something wrong with the digitizer? Is there something wrong? There's no cracks or anything. I haven't had this machine very long. So I'm going to put this, uh, it's called a retool, and definitely try it, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so if you look at the last video and you see that... Um, I could not touch in certain spaces. Now, if you're having this issue, if it's on different spaces on the screen and you can't touch, and essentially you could touch on all kinds of other areas, I came across this after searching finally, and essentially it's just reinstalling a calibration tool for the screen, for the digitizer. Okay, now the first thing, I'm going to put the links down so you can find everything. First thing you have to do is download the software. And it's just an EXE file. It's called the EP00060 Okay, now essentially, once you click that, okay, I'll re-click it now just to show you how to install it. But even though I installed it in mine, what it does is it brings up a folder page. Then it starts extracting. Okay, then here's a document called the Panel Calibration Tool. Now you're going to click on that, and it's called the Calb. C-A-L-I-B-G-4, okay? Now, I'm going to put all this in the description so you can find it. And all you got to do is double-click it, okay? And it's going to bring up this page, and it's going to say, in progress, in progress, in progress, okay? And it says, do not touch the screen, okay? And what it's doing is det detecting your whole screen for you, okay? Now, when it's complete, now you should be able to have all your touch back again you see how all my touch back is again everything works great now so essentially but if you go to install this and you get this error that that pops up it's called the msbp 100.dll okay and what that will basically is is that you do not have the correct visual studio 2010 installed now how do you find that out you come over here and you type into the search and you're going to type in add remove programs okay you're going to come over here and you're going to type add here we go add remove programs click on that okay now if you don't have it you're going to scroll up here and you're going to look 
Now I have it because I installed it before. Now you see how you got a, you're going to have to install both editions. Install this X64 and the X86. Okay, now before I install these, I get this error. It pops up. Okay, but I only had 2013, 2013, and 2015. Okay, but you need 2010. 2010. I'm going to put the links in the description as well. Okay, now once you actually have uh, those two packages installed, you should have no problem running this running this exe running this uh, calibration tool okay now just to bring it up let's see if i bring up uh, all of, see as you can see everything works on the top of the screen again uh come over here and i go to say i go to uh like paint paint 3d or something like that let's see see if it lets me uh as you can see Everything works. I can move all the way around. I can move all the way around just to show you that the screen is working great. Okay? So anyway, that's all you got to do. Hopefully it helps you guys. As long as you got no cracks or breaks on your screen, hopefully this helps. Hopefully I help you guys and take care. Appreciate it.